Miles Gaskin, Miami's running back, do you have to have him? Well, I don't know. Uh, I think he's probably going to be a solid RB2 in fantasy this year, folks. He's not the worst athlete who plays running back by any margin, but he's got average to slightly above average athleticism. He only had over 20 attempts twice last year, and he missed six games, two because he was on the COVID list and four because he was put on IR. He doesn't have an elite or high-level trait that makes me go wow, but he is a solid pass catcher out of the backfield. He can play every down, so I don't dislike him as a player. Uh, every once in a while, he showed decent bursts, and that was more early in the season before he went on IR. So there is the possibility that when he comes back, if he's fully healthy and he doesn't have like any kind of real nagging injuries, that he might be a lot better. I think he'll be serviceable in fantasy, right? If you're one of those teams that does the no RB strategy, right? You, know, you don't like taking RBs early on. You prefer taking pass catchers all the way and quarterbacks and tight ends. And I think Miles Gaskin might be a guy you want to look at as a potential starter. Now, I will say this. Miami has been kicking the tires on running backs all throughout the offseason, kind of seeing like, hey, you know, there's a lot of rumors in the draft where they're going to go ahead and take Travis Etienne or Najee Harris or Javante Williams. They didn't take any of those guys. There were just rumors about it. So it's possible they do believe Gaskin can be a good, solid starter. And again, you know, pay attention to the rumor mill. I, I don't, like I said, I don't think he'll be an RB1. It would take all the top six running backs in fantasy going down at the exact same time for him to even sniff the bottom of the RB1 category. But I do think he will be a very solid RB2 in fantasy in 2021.